Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout in MMAC is in the amateur welterweight division. Please welcome Samir Yahidovich. Here from Oslo in Norway, it's Samir Yahirovich, 29 years of age, an extremely deadly guy in every category. So much hype around his debut here tonight in the MMAC. Explosive fighter, great striking, brilliant movement. This guy's come to bang. Tons of combinations, exceptionally aggressive. And the strategy, I think, has got to be forward pressure. This guy in one of his interviews said that he wants to push his limits. And that's what he's here for tonight, to push the pressure to make his mark on this scene in the UK tonight. Three fight experience coming into this one. A big matchup here tonight in the welterweight division. MMAC2 bringing you the very best in international and domestic athletes. So really excited to greet Yahirovich. Says it's all about a step stone going further in his career. And I am really excited to see what the guys from the frontline crew in Oslo have got in the form of Yahirovich. Looks extremely prepared and he has arrived. It's MMAC time, folks. Don't go anywhere. Now for his opponent. And his opponent, please welcome Afzal Khan. And all eyes will indeed be on the red corner here tonight. The elder man, Afzal Khan from Birmingham. And it is gonna be interesting when you look at the fact that he has a boxing-centric approach. Sometimes in MMA you get a specialist, and that is absolutely Afzal Khan. Khan, great boxer, great stand-up, looking to make the transition into MMA, which a lot of great boxers these days are doing. This is going to be interesting. Looks extremely focused. With a future goal of turning professional, I think he really values the experience and the chance to vault into the upper echelons of the amateur scene. I like his height. He's going to have a reach advantage in this matchup. He's going to need it if he wants to use his hands predominantly against a very well-rounded Yehirovich. So Birmingham is happening. The local fans are out in force. Khan is in the ring. Back to Buddy Johnson to get this matchup started. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for three three-minute rounds in the amateur welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, standing five feet 11 inches tall with one win and two defeats all the way from Oslo, Norway. He is Samir Yahidovic. And his opponent. In the red corner, standing 5 feet 11 inches tall and making his debut this evening from Birmingham, Afsal Khan! When the action begins, your referee in charge, Simon Small. Yahirovich and Khan, very well matched. Just one fight experience difference between the two. Khan, the older man. Both fighters made weight perfectly. It's a beautiful matchup in the welterweight division, 77 kilograms. Let's make it happen. Round one. Good touch of glove there. And Yehirovich looking for the takedown quick. Big lift there, Yehirovich pushing up, throttling the hips in, and pins his man down to the canvas early. And he's looking to put the pressure here, Chris, because if he gives Khan a chance to get back to his feet, he knows he's got some devastating power in them hands to deal with. He's got to keep it down. He's got to get the finish from here. Methodical control here from Yehirovich. I like the empty half guard here from Khan, but that's going to be difficult to do anything with when you're forced up against the wire. It certainly is, and I think he's going to be in trouble here unless he pops out of this, gets a good, good strikes there. Good strikes by Yehirovich. Yehirovich staying busy there. The odd, perfunctory hammer fist inflicted. 
but the pressure and positional dominance key right now. Definitely key, and he's looking to slip the knee over to get the top position. And he does. Yahirovic converts in full mount. And he'll be looking to finish here, Chris, with some big, strong ground and pound. But even the little shots, Paul, they open up the space to advance your position. They, they, they open up the shots to advance your position or set up a strike or a submission. Everything chained together right now for Yahirovic, and it's a flawless work of art right now. It's all been one-way traffic. Khan forced here to try to find a plan B, but unable to shake Yahirovic off mount. Yahirovic is doing a fantastic job of controlling the fight here. Just needs to pop his hips up a little bit more, control those arms, and then impose his will and ground and pound and finish this fight. Love the posture of Yahirovic. Look at the way he skydives high there. He knows exactly when to throw his weight long. Sometimes when he needs to sit up and put down punches. Khan's got to be very dangerous. He's got to be very careful with that arm there. And there it goes. A big arm bar attempt there for Yahirovic. Khan out Khan. the back door. Wow. <laughs> Fantastic work there from Khan, the boxer. Brilliant. Yahirovic got control again. He's looking for that top position. Go back to game plan. Go back. Pressure. And look to finish the fight again. The one thing that really stuck out was the fact that Khan was able to time that escape. He had to be patient there. He could not get rid of Yehirovich. But the moment Yehirovich tried to go for that arm lock, Khan was able to move. Smart stuff. Yehirovich again, imposing his will, looking to pressure. A good use of the head there to keep the chin up. Excellent head pressure here on display from Team Norway. And you can see the experience differential compared to some other athletes at the amateur level. These guys have been here. They've got ring time. Neither of them rushing things. They're fighting the invisible battles with the hand fights. Excellent. And he's getting back to his feet. Khan's up now. But Yahirovich is maybe a step ahead, prying for the neck. Does he have it? That's the, the end of the through. round. Great, great work there from Khan survived the wrath of Yahirovic there from the mount and the ground and pound, but he needs to come out with some answers in the second round. I completely agree, and it seemed to me that Yahirovic only had the takedown on his mind. He really didn't flirt with the stand-up whatsoever, Paul. Khan's got to utilize that now and maybe use some different combinations, maybe an uppercut, maybe a knee, something to make him think twice. He's got to throw them hands. He's got to let them hands go and make Yahirovic a little bit cautious about getting in and looking for the takedown again. As you said, some big uppercuts, some big overarm rights, and really make Yahirovic pay for trying to take him down. I like that. Payment, punishment, the cost has to be shown. And right now, I think looking back at that previous round, Khan's got his work cut out for him. Khan's definitely got his work cut out for him there. Yahirovic will be coming. Yep. Round two, the action rolls on here at the MMAC and it's the immediate shot from Yahirovic. Yahirovic going back to the game plan. He wants this fight to the floor. But Khan answering with a few knees here. He seems to be coming out, he seems to be settling a little bit. The key thing is and settling and measuring the distance. And if Khan can manage that and not run out of space, unfortunately a loss of real estate here. In for the clinch, dropping for the level change. Khan in full tilt. Yahirovic trying to set up the throw there. But Khan working it every way he can to try to reverse this position. And he does. Well done for right. Khan. Khan seems to be settling a little bit. And a good sprawl there. Yahirovic looking for the single. The high is looking to take him down. But what a great defense from Khan. Khan thinking about the figure four counter here. Yahirovic with tons of pressure catches the trip. Down he goes. Khan, though, an immediate stand-up. That's key, Paul. The moment you go down, you've got to explode up. You cannot wait. You can't wait. You cannot give your opponent any chance to settle. You've got to get straight back to your feet and impose your will with some big strikes. And unfortunately, Khan's back down where Yahirovic wants him. And it's when your opponent starts to get his full weight on you, it becomes a lot more taxing if you try to get back up. Now, Khan will have to use more energy to get back up here. And the biggest problem here with someone's body weight, the pressure, taking the strikes, you're going to start to gas slightly and that really, really affects 
your will to get back to your feet every time you're attempting it. Wow, it has just been thrills and plenty of spills here as Khan now winds up for the second time here on his back. You hear a And in certain terms, in a more difficult position to get back to where he wants to be. Yehirovic doing a good job here of pressing Khan up against the fence, making it as hard and as difficult to get back to his feet as possible. Great head control there underneath the chin, making it really, really, really tight up against that fence. And also deactivating the guard. It's a lot more difficult to play jiu-jitsu when you're pinned like this. It, it's, it, it's very difficult. You've got to be extremely good at your jiu-jitsu to play the guard from that position. Lots of pressure. A little bit of a creep out of half guard. Khan looks like he's going for a semi-guillotine there, but he's looking to get a wizard to get back to his feet. And he's got to watch it because Yehirovic there has already got lined up the single to take him down as he stands up. And Khan, he goes down again. Pressure. Oh, man. Great read on that, Paul. And Khan gets back up. Big and knee here big from knee. Khan. And Khan really needs to let go now. He really needs to let go in this position. He needs to fire some big shots. You hear of it. The answer he's got is a takedown. And Khan needs to break that space again. Khan unable and almost very eager towards the end there. The moment he had any space to punch, he might have been a little bit more wise to retreat and reset. Why rush it? You know that if you rush it or if you come in too close, you get put down on your back. I think Khan's got to rethink the game plan. Paul, it's probably two rounds down at this point. I agree with that, and I think Khan needs to be a little bit more tactical. He was delivering some big knees there that was affecting Yurevich. He should have delivered, kept pushing them knees in, waited, and picked his shots. Well, we have had it all here tonight in the MMAC, and Khan and Yurevich showing off elite skills here in the ranks at 77 kilos. Khan, I think, has acknowledged the point significance, the differential, if you will. He's probably down 2018 at this point, at least. The judges will, of course, be looking for more liberal 10-8 rounds now under the new criteria. So Khan in a position where he likely needs a finish. Yehirovich looks pumped. Khan's ready to go. Round three. Yehirovich looks like he's ready for the takedown again. Khan needs to keep this to his feet and rain down some bombs. Yehirovic been a little bit more cautious. He's trying to set up that takedown. You can see that's on his mind. And there he goes. He's in the clinch again. Interesting to see how he level changed. Khan came in a little bit too hot. And Yehirovic went back up. He said, forget it. I don't want to get kneed like that. Had that landed to your face, that could be the end. But those are good shots from Khan. Khan needs to utilize those knees and deliver some big brutal knees with some big strikes to the head. Khan with a solid connection there, double time to the midsection. Stiff jab from Khan. And he should have followed up there, Chris. He should have kept going. And Yehirovic looks like he's gassed. And another big knee. Huge now knee he needs from to Khan. take his time. Don't stand off. He needs to finish. And Yehirovic on cue, looking for the takedown again. But this time it's Khan who gets him up against the fence. What a turn of events here. A grimace there from Yehirovic. That one rocked him. That is the shot. Yehirovic now looks like he's definitely rocked. Khan needs to utilize this and go in for the kill. He needs to finish this fight. He needs to finish it to get something back. And what a beautiful knee there. Huge knee again. The impact heard around the world. Khan's best shot of the fight. Yehirovic, no Yehir doubt, feeling that. And that not only laxes the energy and really, oh man, you can see him breathing hard there. This and is huge. Khan is going for the finish. He needs to watch that now. He needs to push him up and finish with the hands. And a beautiful knee again. Khan needs to let those bombs go. That's what he's got in his arsenal. He needs to let those bombs go and get it finished. Get in and get the job done. Classic Muay Thai there with that frame from Khan And again. a beautiful. And he needs to keep going here to finish this. He shouldn't be standing off. And he looks for the takedown again, Yehirovic. And Khan now in a very dominant position. And it could be a tail. Whoa, in with a turn of events. On cue, Khan needed it. He dug deep and he is unloading heavy leather here. And a huge knee. And another. 
Whoa, how many more will it be for Yehurovic? Yehurovic looks out on his feet. If Khan delivers a big right here, he could stop this fight instantly. And here he goes, he's got to finish it now. He has to finish, Khan's got to move in and finish this fight and avoid the takedown. 30 seconds to go, everything to play for here in the MMA. See, there's the and right another hand. another big right. He needs to unload these hands. Khan now looking tired, he's got no time to rest. He's got to pressure this fight. He has to pressure it. This has been blitzkrieg unlike anything we've ever seen in the MMA sea. Shot after shot, an avalanche of punishment. And it's Khan, Khan who looking goes for the, the takedown. Wow. And whoa. He needs to get those hands now and start to finish. And what a fight. It's all over and three rounds in the books here on the MMA sea. We go the distance. What a conclusion. Who would have thought that? We knew it. And our official scorecards, and our unofficial scorecards, I should say, Khan needed to go for broke, and he did, and he delivered. Khan delivered. And it's quite interesting to see how it took Khan two rounds to settle to come out, and he looked a completely different fighter in the third round. He looked like he'd settled, and he knew his game plan, and he played to his strengths there. And it also shows you the significance of just a couple of those body shots. One or two of those can change the whole course of the fight. And I think that allowed Khan the breathing space and room he needed to go and get off first. Land with more accuracy and certainly, as we saw in the tape there, devastating effect. That was a huge round for Khan, at least a 10-8. And I think we could see a very interesting result depending on how the first two were scored. Again, this is all unofficial, folks, but I think this could be an incredible conclusion. One man has done it, and we will find out in a moment how that goes as the result comes in. Yahirovic looks relieved. Khan, very, very happy with the performance there in the third. Let's go to Buddy Johnson to get the announcement here in Birmingham tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to our judges' scorecards. And your winner, by unanimous decision, Samir Zahirovich!